Hello and welcome back to the Daily Weekly Podcast. I'm your host Bradley and I know it's been a few weeks but you know we've uh, been a bit busy. I mean it's just me holding the fort as I mentioned in previous episodes but I think that this week's episode is rather timely given the recent buzz around this year's Oscars and the whole the slapping incident with Will Smith and Chris Rock and I thought, hmm, well, what can we talk about? Well, okay, it is actors who were nominated for an Oscar and a Razzie Award. Because, well, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So, but before we get into all of that, don't forget to check out all the links in the description for more episodes and other places where you can check out the podcast and check out all the other fun things that we do. And if you are enjoying this, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend. That would really mean a lot to us. Or me, anyway. It would be nice if you did that. (laughs) So, as the top suggests this week, I'm talking about actors who received nominations for both an Oscar and a Razzie uh, in the same year, and on the rare occasions for the same role. If you don't know, the Golden Raspberry Award, otherwise known as a Razzie, is is kind of the anti-Oscars and they're given out each year, although they rarely do the nominees or winners even actually accept their award. Um, Some people have, they're pretty interesting videos, you should check that out, including Sandra Bullock, that was a good one. So whilst the Oscars picks the best of the best, the Razzies essentially pick the worst of the worst, in their opinion. Three actors have received an Oscar and a Razzie nomination for the same role. So we've got James Coco um, for Only When I Laugh, Amy Irving in Yentl, and Glenn Close in Hillbilly Elegy. Hmm, I haven't seen any of those movies, but there you go, that's uh, that's a little fun fact to kick it off. And the Aerosmith song, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, from Armageddon, was nominated for both an Academy Award for Best Original Song and a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Original Song, as for the Trisha Yearwood song, How Do I Live, from the 1997 film Con Air, and the Tony Bennett song, Life in a Looking Glass, from the 1986 film That's Life. Wow, so I guess it's very hit and miss with the songs, but I guess it's all down to opinion, really, isn't it? Ah, and I realised uh, that um, I haven't actually finished even writing my notes for this episode. So, I have a list of names, but no other facts. Well, um, this, this, this went well. Huh. Okay. Looks like I've got some work to do. Well, um... You can subscribe if you want. I guess this is going on the extra channel now. Because uh, I did not see this happening. Oh dear. Have I got anything on here? Okay, so I have some parts. Just not the main bulk of the episode. Well, that's great on my part, Brad. Well done. Yeah. Didn't even find a weird news story. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to work. In the meantime, you can check out some of our other podcast episodes. And um, uh, hopefully this will be out soon. Thanks for watching, I guess. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's a failed podcast episode. Huh. That hasn't happened in a while.